Hey, this is Jamal with GospelMusicians.com and uh, I wanted to take some time to kind of give back a little bit. I know I've been busy with this Neo Soul stuff, but uh, hopefully we're done with Neo Soul Keys. We got the fundamentals of Neo Soul, so we're moving on. And um, I wanted to uh, address some of the uh, top questions that I get on the website. Um, number one top question I get is what equipment are you using? So as you can see um, around me, I got a new uh, studio, I got some new gear, all right? So I wanna show you kind of what we have going on here. All right, so in front of me here, I got 27 inch MacBook, the newest version. I'm glad I got the newest version without that whole thunder, the, the Thunderbolt stuff because a lot of my interfaces are Firewire. So I'm still kind of Firewire. My camera's Firewire, this is Firewire. So. I got a uh, 27 inch, uh, I got the, the Thunderbolt 27 inch, and I got the 27 inch iMac. So I'm, I'm, I'm blinged out. I'm good for the next three years. Um, once again, it takes years for you to build up your equipment. So start small, get your little small iMac, work yourself up to a MacBook Pro. This is what I do for a living, so I have to have the top uh, um, equipment. I mean, this is what I do. So it's, it's, it's like a runner. He has to have the top shoes because that's what he does for a living. So this is what I do. This is what I've been doing for the last five to seven, when, man, seven years, almost 10 years now. Man, I've been with gospel musicians that long. So I've been doing this forever. So I got to have the equipment. So this is my new equipment here. Got the 27 inch. Um, I'm still running Snow Leopard. Now, all you audio guys who are using a Mac, um, Quit being so quick to upgrade your operating system, even on the iOS. People keep saying, hey, Jamal, I updated the iOS. Now the IO dock doesn't work. I updated my uh, operating system. Now the stuff doesn't work. If you're in audio, if you ever went to a guy's studio and you went in, in a professional studio, you'll see they're still using G5s. They're using old equipment with old operating system because it never, ever Ever pays when you're in audio to upgrade to the newest uh, operating system because all the software is not caught up yet. So I'm always at least one operating or to two operating systems behind. So that's just a note for you audio guys. It doesn't pay to always update. Um, as you know, I got my little my joint right here. Um, over here, we got our soundproof Aura Lex. Um, I'm sure there's other companies, but Aura Lex is pretty much the standard. Um, so this is what we got the soundproof. Uh, this is a room turned into a studio. So even though we tried as hard as we can, you still can't do nothing against these walls. So if you're getting a new house bit, built or if you're getting a brand new house, take the time to get some stuff behind these walls because it's still kind of loud. But this, this, uh, this shows it a little more. Um, here, it's actually a company out of Ohio. Um, right back here is my actual air conditioner. So I got to kind of shield that. So I got this stuff right here. It's is this is as powerful as this right here. All right. So um, as you can see, you know, I got my Motif XF. Let's go on over to the uh, the booth. Now the booth goes like this. I close the booth up, and we're gonna add some uh, some uh, some stock not styrofoam but the uh, the sticky stuff, and we're gonna be able to stick this up so this is uh this is soundproof in my vocal booth open it up and man even even walking in here i can hear the difference it's just totally different so we got this whole thing this is a closet this is a regular garment closet we tricked it out took everything out and this is all oral x completely soundproof and just to make sure we were soundproof no it's not faced this way we just faced it this way so you can see it this is the SE Electronics um, a reflection filter. So even though we got everything Oralexed out, um, let me see if I can show you this. Even though we got everything Oralexed out, you still want to add that extra soundproof. You don't want any extra reverb, anything coarsened. You want to completely clean. You want to completely no sound. So the mic I'm using is the Rode NT2A. Um, is not the highest, highest quality, but it does the job. You have to decide as a studio guy how far you want to go if you're in your house. Do you want to be that guy that produces every single thing? Do you want to be a pre-production guy? I'm a pre-production guy, so I don't really need to 
really invest in a big thousand dollar Newman, maybe in the future, but I'd rather invest in other stuff that gets me on the pre-production level. I'm not the full blown production. I may have some APIs, I may have some needs, but I don't have an SSL. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a one man crew right here. So I'm a pre-production guy. Um, now, don't get it twisted though. Even on pre-production, my stuff can be production ready when it's done. Now, now, if I had to make an album on just what I have, I think my quality is up there. But, you know, I, I know I know too many guys that got SSL boards and the full-blown Neve and SoftTube and all that stuff. And they can run my stuff through there and it sounds a little better. All right, so um, my mic is a Rode NT2A. Uh, got your pop filter right there to keep you from the, the beat box. Um, oh, a lot of people are asking me down here. How am I keeping this up? We got a 10 pound weight because they hardly make any stands to be compatible with this because this thing is heavy. If I take this weight off, it'll tip right over. So we got a 10 pound weight right down there. Um, so we're good. Close this up. Now my monitor speakers. I love these things. These are the Yamaha, I think SSH, H is HS80s. HS Let me make sure. Yeah, these are the Yamaha HS80s. If you go on, um, if you go on Amazon.com and look these speakers up, these speakers have an incredible rating. Like nobody dislikes this. Everybody loves these. I got them. They are awesome. These are the best monitor speakers um, for the money. For the money, man, I think I only paid like two eighty, maybe two fifty. These things are amazing. Absolutely love them. You get a chance to hear them. So. Going over here, obviously 88 key. If you're a keys player, you gotta have your 88 because weighted is just you gotta you gotta be weighted. Get you weighted, man, because it gives you that expression that you just can't get with a semi-weighted. So there we go. Oh, my wife got me this for my birthday. The Beats, the Studio Edition Beats. They're expensive. Now, uh, one of my guys... Uh, brother Darius, shout out to you. He told me that he uses this for his studio headphones. And I've, I've always thought that these were gimmicks. I said, man, these Beats joints are gimmicks, man. I, I, these are gimmicks. So my wife got them for me. And uh, these are the standard. This is the standard studio stuff. These Sonys, I got two pairs. You go to any studio, anywhere around, you do any studio work, these things are the standards. I have two pairs of these. So my wife came. For my birthday, she got me the Beats. And I was thinking in the back of my head, I was smiling, saying, okay, thank you, but why'd you get these for me? Because I don't need these. I'm like, ah, uh, why'd you spend that much money? Until I put these things on. They sound absolutely amazing. They're a little high on the bass end. They actually have a power switch because they got a preamp on them. They're a little bassier, so you won't get that true stereo sound. But listening to music and everything through there is absolutely amazing. So... I can honestly say in my personal opinion that those are studio quality ready. Just you got to note that they're a little bassy, okay? Um, here's the core of my studio right here. This is the Apogee Ensemble. This is probably one of the standards in the studio. It has a very, very high quality. Uh, it's Firewire driven, so that's why I'm glad I, I still got the old model of the iMac with the Firewire. So this thing right here is absolutely amazing. The quality, the pristineness is absolutely amazing. Now I'm going to share a secret down here. I usually don't share, but I'm going to do it. Let me get over here. So the Apogee Ensemble is the standard. 
This thing right here is my secret weapon. This is the UAD 610. It is a, a, a preamp, a tube preamp. So, for example, my wife, her voice, she sings very well, but sometimes in the higher notes, she can be a little, like, nasally. Not bad, but just a little bit. And so this UAD brings out some of the warmer tones. You run your keyboards through it. You run, obviously, your electric pianos through it. And you have a nice, warm, fat, analog sound that you are looking for. All right? So that's a secret weapon. But I'm not telling you the secret because I, I tricked that out. I tricked that out. I tricked that out and put some different tubes in it. I'm not going to tell you what tubes I use because then I'm going to give away all my secrets. But you can start there. But I went in there and I actually tricked that out and I added my own special tubes in there. Okay? All right, cool. So, um, all right, so uh, that's, that's my studio setup. That's what I got. Um, some of the other questions I get. Now, um, a, lot of people, a lot of people ask me all the time, what do I use live? What do I use live? Well, do I use, I use main stage, but with the advent of the Motif XF, and now obviously the new Kronos has come out, but the, the, for me, the Yamaha Motif XF, I have two gigs of flash. So with two gigs, I can make my samples sound just as good as the VSTs. So what that means for me is that I can load up, <coughs> excuse me, all of my VSTs, Alicia Keys piano, I can sample that and put it in here. Uh, obviously, you know my Neo So Keys are all on here. All of my electric pianos, all of my custom sounds, I can put on here. So all I, so when I turn this off and I turn it back on because of the flash, all of my samples are there. I don't have to load. So for me, I still hardware. No matter what, no matter how good your computer is, no matter how much backup you got. Computers still fail. Hardware is still way, way, way more reliable. So now with the advent of the XF, I put all my samples here and I don't need to take my laptop. So I use my laptop or my iPad for backing tracks. So my laptop is dedicated to backing tracks my I, or my iPad is de dedicated to backing tracks and I play the sounds that I sample from the flash and they sound just as good as the plugins. That's what I do. Now, if I needed to use uh, main stage, I, I do, um, but as it stands right now, now, for example, this piano right here, this piano is a new piano that I'm coming out for the Yamaha. It is, I, I know you guys heard it, I work with this guy uh, named Arnold from um, Acoustic Samples. Well, me and him have kind of become pretty cool. We do a lot of work together, and he allowed me uh, as a partnership to use his sample pianos. He has some of the best sample pianos ever sampled. Like he's one of the top guys. So he allowed me to use a portion of his samples to sample for the XF and the XS. So what you hear right now is the A piano. He called it the A grand. Let me put all the effects on. Listen to this. Listen to that resonance. body you can hear the body and I can control the uh, the release of the piano watch this actually let me go to the um uh, I can reach actually I got it I, I can't do that now because I got it layered so
that's so that's 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 amazing. So, so what I can do, um, what I can do, I can load all my plugins here. So all I have to do is take one piece of hardware. I'm getting lazy in my old age. I'm getting lazy. I don't like to carry a whole bunch of equipment. That's why I know you guys are loving this iPad stuff. So I can just take this right here. This is it. I'm done. I got all of my plugins. I don't need to load up another laptop because then if you load up a laptop, you got to get a sound card and stuff like that. So yes, do I use main stage? Yes, but keyboards now are getting close to the point of VSTs. So I got two gigs of flash RAM right here. I can load it up. So I'm good. Now, um, I'm going to come back at you and what we're going to talk about is a new development that I have and, uh, well, not a new development. I got a concert coming up. So I'm going to walk you through the stages of a concert and how, and how I prepare and everything like that. So coming at you part two.